shout out here, King Sunny D. Hey, so, I appreciate that, man. Check out my cell tournament this Friday. Anyway, here we go. Game <laughs> number one. Uh, <laughs> we got Single Joe versus Mav out here repping. Files in full effect. Yeah, and so far all day today, Klaus is putting doing a really good, or uh, Mav's putting doing a really good job of just bisecting shields and the defensive play. And Joe is kind of known for his defensive play, yeah. but uh, he can still mix it up and be offensive too. So let's see um, what he decides to play in this match. Right now. Yeah, let's say he's on full offense, but Mav doesn't know how to land. Man, man talk, just getting so much. Again, man, that man always, anytime he throws out the side B, it's like almost guaranteed to hit. Except for that time. Yeah. But that was a recovery closer. option. Yeah. That's so close. That's so close. <laughs> Partial credit. Partial. I, I, I agree. Oh, nice. Good answer right there. Yeah, fishing for the two frame right there. Doesn't get it. But Sonic's um, up the it's so like hard to intercept it. You kind of have to go for the two frame if you're going to go for at all. So, respectful effort. And nice air dodge by Joe. Yeah, Mav is out here head hunting right now. Wow. He's launching across the stage right there. Yeah, Mav looking really nice right now. With first pivots, you can't do those if your hands are shaking. This man's top of post. Yeah, Mav's always, he's always been somebody who's had a, a pretty good handle on his tech still. So no surprise, that's just yet another thing he's mastered and actually incorporating it into his gameplay pretty effectively here. And that was a good catch. Joe trying to run in, but gets met with that blade beam. Yeah, the blade beam today is going just an on point for Mav, but single Joe, his back airs are always on point. Yep. There's a reason that we call back air eight times in a row with single Joe out here. So. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Matt kind of chuckling at Single Joe's, uh, crouching under that back air. Actually, I wonder like if we'll see that come into play more often because like Cloud's aerials do end up hitting a bit higher than usual. So if the character has a good crouch, that might be the new meta. Some to keep an eye out for, I guess. He don't even have to put up a shield or do anything. He just literally is like duck, like that simple. Duck? Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it actually should. Sure. Yeah, Gamer saying Sonic's crouch should have a hitbox, and I can get behind that, to be honest. Nice, that forward tilt sitting so far off stage. But Single Joe still managed to make it back, and I like how he's consistently like forward airing to keep his hitbox forward a bit more. Giving him, like, you know, more opportunities to survive. Yeah, Joe's done a really good job of keeping his stock alive at, at 186, you know, uh, no, until that point. Finally comes off with that aggressive option, able to get the stock with the up there. It was looking, uh, it was just looking really, you know, frustrating there for Mav for a little bit. You know, Joe with a lead is certainly nothing I would want to play against. So. Yeah. Only imagine how Mav's feeling. And these back airs, setting him off here, able to preserve the limit coming back, and now just going on to hunt. Cloud can make up a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Yeah, all takes him like one more up air. And oh, oh my god, Seagull Joe keeping, uh, keeping up with him all the way through that uh, limit prime hazard. Yeah, I honestly think he anticipated that. He knew he was going to use limit anyway. Probably expecting him to try and get a little damage off of it. Seagull had a well laid out counter plan. Still very much so in the lead right now. Yeah, Joe's looking pretty clean right now. But you can't give Cloud uh, too many opportunities to hit because there we go. The cost slash 50%. Charging a bit of limit, more pressure. And the story we've seen so many times before. But that back air, you know how that story goes yep. too. Joe takes game one. Seen that movie before, man. So is Joe. Gets the job done. Good effort, though, for Mav. Yeah, that was a lot of um, just really good small plays from Mav. Especially considering, like, um, you know, Joe's been playing Sonic for a really long time. Cloud hasn't been out for as long. So still being able to keep up um, step for step. And uh, actually put a lot of pressure on scenarios where Joe, we've seen him thrive before. Yeah. Uh, Mav was looking pretty good right there. But not for nothing though, Joe made a lot of brilliant reads that just like an entire uh, second stock though. So um, I wonder if Mav, or how much Mav can mix it up in this game number two. That's gonna be pretty good. Three, two, one. Seems like Town City's the kind of pick of the day right here because we're going back for it. Uh, this time Matt picked it too, and I know that Joe loves the stage, so both are pretty, probably pretty happy uh, with Joe here. Yeah, not too many negatives here for Joe. Like, he's gonna get his. And nice. he's already off to a pretty solid start here. 57 unanswered. Matt trying to get on the board. Joe not making that a reality right now. 
Yeah, he's just kind of uh, picking and choosing the spaces where he wants to attack so well right now. He's not really giving Mav like any opportunity to attack, but finally he gets caught slipping with that downfield. Let's see how much Mav can capitalize off this. It looks like Dust kind of settled from the interaction. Joe didn't really take a whole lot of damage on that, so a spin dash that he did to get through that was really smart. And it looks like spin dash is the name of the game. Nice grab. Alright, burns that limit. Comes back off the ledge fighting. Ooh. Joe is so lucky that that did spike right now. I know, he wanted that meaty hitbox to just send him straight down, but kind of catches the break there. Yeah. The mass pressure on that left is actually looking pretty clean right now. It gets another cross slash poking through the shield, it seems. Yeah, Matt's playing really well right now, like around the shield and also just doing his best to catch the enemies. Joe's doing a really good job just like circumventing that, but I feel like once Matt gets that limit, gets that extra run speed, this is going to be a lot harder for Joe than we uh, originally thought out after game one. Back to that, though. Man. I didn't expect that. To, I didn't expect that uh, him to be able to get that grab right there, but he had the right, right, right positioning. Oh, and that back there? No, not quite. Yeah, so close. You see that forward air comes through again. That actually probably saved his life right there. But yeah, there's no nothing you could have done about that. Yeah. We got an even game yet again, but Cloud got that glow. Nice burn that jump. Force to burn that limit. Yeah, Joe probably did that. And now that angle on that um, down throw. Oh, wow. Just yes, like that's that. That's, that's a it. wrap. Yep. That was really good by Joe. You know, it all started with the uh, the drifting there on the uh, the B, man. Down to a four smash combo. Too much for Cloud to overcome. Especially with no limit to, uh, you know, make the jump back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was just a smart edge guard by um, Joe all the way through. It looks like we got a tamp on the floor yet again with pink fresh. If... Oh, that's Zuma's Hey, nice. there we are. So uh, I'm sitting here with uh, BGBC Pink Fresh. BGBC Pink Fresh, uh, you've been training on the West Coast for a while, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I was over there for a little bit. How'd it go? Uh, <laughs> the tournament part or the training part? Both. 